and we are just on the east side of Portland Island where we got married last summer it's a provincial island and uh, you can camp here or just go for a little hike and walk hey thanks for watching sailing Abbey if you haven't subscribed please press the subscribe button and if you'd like to get notified when a new movie comes out Take the bell. Cheers. Portland Island has an amazing history. It's full of fruit trees, roses, garden beds, and shell midden beaches. The island was the first of the site of First Nations village Hawaiian immigrants who settled there in the 1880s. But in 1958, to commemorate Princess Margaret's visit to BC, the island was named after her. She returned the island back to BC as a park in 1967. Point to where the home is, Oliver. What? Where's home? That way. In heaven, yeah. No, we're going, uh, going close to home. We're just finishing our little rip around Portland Island. It took us about uh, three hours. These guys are a little crazy. Had some fun. There's lots of laughs. There's some cries. It was a good time. Hey, so I'm just at Trotac and I'm just trying to figure out the right fittings to buy and there's plenty to choose from so we're gonna figure this out little piece by piece there are so many parts here to choose from I really wanted to make it as solid as possible and getting these stainless steel chrome finished pieces really finish it off and make it look like a professional even though I'm nowhere near <laughs> Well, I made it. It's been two hours since I left the house and I finally made it to the Swartz Bay dock. Now I gotta go bring and truck everything over here and put it in the dinghy and take it to the sailboat. All right, so today is a pretty expensive day. I know the panels were 220 a piece, 300 watt panels. I got the piping in here. I've got the tube fittings in here. Um, that was 200 and 300 each. So this is going up. This is a project I wanted to just delay for as long as I possibly could. This is expensive. Okay, so here is the plan. These two solar panels at the back here are gonna come off. Wind turbine's gonna come off. I'm gonna install that panel and another panel as a back a Dodger or Bimini assembly. That is the plan for the next five hours. So this panel here is mounted on the back push bit and the same one over here. And these are hundred watt panels. So they're roughly two feet by four feet or so. And these are gonna come off. All right, here's a little before. And this here is the solar panels as we are right now. You know, I'm not getting any sun really on them, but are 13.4 volts, 2.3 amps, House out, house in. House out's a lot. I don't know why. Figure that out for a second. And then the starter battery seems a little bit low. So that's the way it is. Put the radio on. Everything's on. Let's put it over here. And then we're just charging up the other battery here. Equalize them. There you go. All right, so wind turbine has gone. 
I'm gonna take the pole home, which is here, and I believe I'm gonna sell the whole wind turbine. I got extra blades, extra everything. And then now my solar panels are coming off. Just slowly picking away at this little project here. So I'm trying to contemplate here the position forward and backwards on these solar panels. I'm just not too sure how far forward I want them and how far back I want them. But when you are sitting in there, there's still quite a bit of sunlight still going in, which is fantastic. And then I gotta strengthen up, put a couple little 45s on there. And then maybe just try that out for a little while. But as I'm sitting here inside, one of the big things I want is to be able to look up, see the mast, make sure I can see the sails, everything. And I also, I also wanted to be inside here and be protected by the rain, which I can, except for that one little gap there. And I also wanted to be able to stand up here and have good headroom. So, and I'm 6'3", so I wanted to be tall enough that I didn't feel like it was like rain on top of my head. I wanted to feel like there's a little bit of space. So it is probably a little higher than some people might put it. This is my boat. <laughs> so what I did buy were these clamps here and they actually clamp right onto the back and go straight up. Goes to a T and I went pretty far out, maybe too far, I can cut that down later. but. You could put just anything. You could hang life jackets, you could hang rope, you could hang a whole bunch of stuff on that. Clothes when we're out sailing for a long time. Well, let's finish off some of the solar panels. I gotta get to this wiring. And the wiring, I'm gonna connect these two solar panels. They're both 300 watts. I believe I'm gonna do it in series and then straight to the charge controller. And inside here is my charge controller. It's a tracer, MPPT, and it's got the whole screen so I can measure everything that's going on. And we'll start seeing whether or not we're getting any battery voltage coming in. For some reason I think that one of my shunts is bad. This house out always is registering out, even though I had the whole switch off. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to check that. Okay, so I just attached these two little crimps here. Uh, MC4 connectors for the positive and negative. And you can get a kit like this. 20 bucks or so on Amazon and it comes with way more than you ever need and the neat thing is they're pairs and inside you've got uh, the silicone little connector and also you've got uh, all of the terminal connectors there it's pretty much a plug-and-play connection and on top of these they also have a little o-ring there so you can uh, keep the water out so we're gonna plug those in up here on the top of the solar panels Okay, a little moment of truth. We're going to uh, fire this up, I'll plug them in. I think what I'll do right now is get this gas can out of here. Just in case there's a spark. But here is uh, the other connection here. I think I should double check that eventually and make sure that everything's looking good in here. It's all right. I don't know how to hold this and show you that at the same time. Maybe impossible. Need more hands. There it is. Now let's go double check. Okay, so right down here, I've got the charge controller. It says nothing. I got nothing. 
0.1 volt. That means nothing. Okay, so I have 68 volts going in. It's exactly what I wanted. And we've got five amps already going into the batteries. That's already probably three times more. And it's overcast right now. There's clouds everywhere. So the amount of power going in is phenomenal already. Fantastic. 6.2. Hey, so, so far this is fantastic. I've got 6.8 volts going into the batteries right now and things are charging up, but I'm having a problem with the, uh, the shunt on the main main house battery. So we're gonna fix that right now. And like I said, for some reason I got 2.8 amps going out and I got nothing turned on right now and uh, nothing going in. Obviously the starter battery is at zero, but that's okay, it's not running. Yeah, I got 6.8 amps going into the batteries right now. That's fantastic. But there's a problem, so we'll figure this out. So here are my golf cart batteries in a wood box. Two of them, they're both, they're all like six volt, six volt wired in series, six volts in series, and then these two banks are connected into parallel. And that's how it's run. And I've got this pack here covers. I'm going to cover up all the connections so that they can't have any issues. And I also have a new shunt. I'm going to put this new shunt in here. Well, let's do the shunt first and see if we can fix that problem. It's not very hard. On a shunt here, it's gonna be ground, ground, and on either side of the shunt, we're gonna put a power wire, and it's kind of like an information wire. Hello, we're here to open up the boat for the spring. Clean it, organize it. Let's see. Go. Well, one of the projects today is to finish off some of these solar panels for the Dodger or Bimini. Uh, I noticed that uh, right here, this actually had fallen out. So when we arrived, it was kind of like this. So, and it was creating some chafing in my back state right there. So we're gonna do some uh, fixing, finish that off. I got a, a little Allen keys. These are all held in with little Allen keys right there. So I'm gonna crank that and uh, make sure and check the other ones. But one of the big things we're going to install is a new uh, intelligent charge controller, and I'll show you that shortly. The shine. We're opening up the book for the, for the spring and summer season, and Chad was here last, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a shit pitch with the kids. New Year's Eve day sale while I stay home. I think I probably cooked something at home. Maybe had a nap while you took all the boys on a sailing trip. And this is what it looks like before. And hopefully it'll look a hell of a lot better after. <laughs> oh, we got a big mess up here. And then come in and look at that. And the, the floor. Yeah, this is a huge mess. It's okay. It'll get done. That's all right. That's just the way it goes sometimes. We'll rotate the food. We'll rotate the stock. Yeah. Fun times. It's a beautiful day. Well, here it is. This is the battery, smart battery isolator, and you can pick this up on Amazon. I think it's 60 bucks. And right here, it's got some cut in and cut out at 13.3 volts. So when the solars are cranked, we'll get power to both starting battery and the house batteries. So we're just arriving right now and I'm looking at the house battery right now is totally charged, 15 volts. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting tons of power here, 15 volts from the solar. Honey, you just flick that over to a start for a second. And that's gonna 
turn on, the starter will now start charging. There it is. It's getting five amps going in with the sun. You know, probably, it's totally charged up too. So everything is charged up. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm gonna quickly take out this uh, Princess Auto battery isolator and exchange it with this one here. Nice and easy. And inside it says uh, positive battery start and positive battery second battery. And these yellow and black ones are just ground wires. At least that's what I think. So that's looking a little nicer right now. I'm trying to protect everything as possible as I can. Right here we got the battery isolator and it's on, which means that 13.3 volts it kicks on and it's 13.8. Everything should be charging up. It's fine. Also, we got this uh, distribution box here for anything else I want to connect on with fuses. It's got a cover so it'll be safe. That's looking good. While this concludes the installation for the solar panels, a bit of an overcast day, not too great as an example, but we got 3.2 amps going in, one and a half into the starter, 0 0.09 into the house batteries, and everything is charging and wired up and protected. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching Sailing Abbey. We finished the installation of all the solar panels and even the charge controller. Hopefully the house batteries and the starter battery will stay charged for our next adventures. If you haven't checked us out, check out some of the episodes of our tiny house and us adventuring up in the Broughton Archipelago area of Chatham Channel. Thanks again, please subscribe and enjoy the ride.